Hello everyone, welcome to another Rick's Picks. Today I'm going to be doing my review of the Nika Utron figure from the original Mirage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle comics. Now for many of you, you don't know that Krang is not an original character. He was, you know, developed for the late 80s, early 90s cartoon. But in the original comic books, the Utron is what Krang was based off of, and they were um, a race of aliens that got stuck on our planet, and they're the ones who actually made the Ooze, which eventually made the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And they weren't really bad in this. They were actually kind of good, because when Splinter was attacked by the Mousers, they actually rescued him. So overall, they're really cool characters. Um, I think they winded up showing up again in... Um, the Nickelodeon cartoon, and they also showed up in the, I think it was like the 2000 Turtles cartoon. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be looking at them in box first. Then I'm going to take a look at the figure and his accessories. And then I'm going to give you my thoughts on him. So if you do like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that notification bell. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. So here's the Utron in box. I really like this packaging. I like how it pops out at you. You have, you know, the shell here so you can see the figure, his accessories. The original style Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle logo. You get this nice piece of art here. And you also get his name spinning around this way. You get, once again, some more art. Their logo. You get this open spot here so you can see the accessories and everything from the side and you have your nika logo logo and then you have this comic book style looking art here which is really nice it shows nice pictures of the figure you know meanwhile to be continued and then it shows you everybody else in the lineup plus you also got the nika you know logo right there and then one last time you get this nice picture of the you know, the Ubtron from the original comic books. You got the classic Eastman and Lars Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle logo. I really like that. I think that's a nice, you know, piece that they put there. And then your top, you have the logo, your warning, age restrictions, Nickelodeon. And then your bottom, you have your legal. So let's get this guy cracked open and take a look at him. All right, so here we have the Utron out of box, and this is a really neat looking figure. I love all the detail that is put into this, how they have it. You know, you have your shine paint job here. You have your black lines that give it that comic book look. I mean, this is overall a cool looking figure. Let's give him the rotation. All right. I mean, look at all this detail to the pipes and wires and, you know, it just really, they really put some effort into this figure. I'm, so far, I'm really liking this. Um, let's check his points of articulation. So the head spins. Okay. You have a shoulder joint here. You have a swivel. You have a joint at the elbow. The wrist moves. All right. He's a little stiff. Um, upper torso does turn. All right, let me take him out real quick. You have a thigh joint, a knee joint, and then you also have an ankle joint. Okay. And you also have a swivel right here at the belt line. So he does have, for the most part, pretty much the standard points of articulation. Um, Here's the Utron himself. He looks really cool. He looks, you know... Really like he should with the comic book and whatever. So let's give him his own little rotation. You know, really nice. He fits nicely in the stomach. And even when he's out, if you look at the inside, you can see like the spinal cord. You can see detail inside there as well. So overall, man, so far, they, they 
done really nice with this. Let's put him back in there where he belongs. Uh, he does come with a couple accessories. So he comes with a couple of work tools. So he comes with this. This. All right. He comes with a cup with a straw. Okay. He comes with a type of laser cannon or handgun, actually. So, that's really nice. And even, like, when you look at the weapons here, like, all these little, you know, black lines and stuff, just gives it that extra sense of pop to it, which is really cool. And he has four different hands. All right. So, he has a holding hand here. Now, once again, let, I'm going to probably keep on going on about the details, but look at this hand. Look at all the, you know, gears and stuff that they put into this. That detail is just beautiful. All right. He, here's another grip hand. All right. And then two more. So you have this one. And this one. All right. And then he comes with an alternate head that is beat up. That looks really cool. The eyes hanging out. You know, you got this extra damage in the head. So, you know, so that's really cool looking too. All right, so let's see how well this stuff fits. Uh, I'm going to just take him out because he's going to fall all over the place as I move this around. So let's start with this hand. Let's see how well the hand comes out. All right, and that hand came out pretty well. Uh, let's use this hand here. All right, that pops in pretty good. Uh, all right, see how well things go in it. Uh, this tool fits in really nice no issues there this tool fits in nice no issues there um the fingers are soft which is good so that means you might have to maneuver the thumb around a little bit but oops put that in there sideways like that okay so the gun fits nicely in his hand. All right. Now let's try the damaged head. Let's see how well this pops off. Urgh. Oh, man. That's on there pretty tight. So it took me a couple minutes to try to work the head off. It did come off. The new head went on pretty well. So let's take a look at the damaged head. And let's put him back in his little hole here. Boop. Oops. So, does fit. It does work. You know, like I said, it just took me an extra minute. And that's probably because it's new. So, you know, it was on there pretty tight. But that does look pretty cool. The damaged head on there. So, overall... I really like this figure. I like the amount of detail that they put into it. Um, definitely a worthwhile figure if you're a huge Turtles fan. Especially if you're a fan of the original comic books. I would highly recommend this figure for you. So, that being said, I hope you liked this review. If you did, go ahead and check out my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles playlist. Where I review other figures based off of the comic book. And... You know, other Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle memorabilia. So, until the next video, late. Thank you for watching this video. Um, if you did like this video, do me a favor. You know, hit the like button, subscribe, you know, share it with friends. Hit the notification bell so you can see more content. And always leave a comment. I'm always happy to hear from you. And check out my Patreon page where I have things that you won't see you know, on this normal page. So once again, thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Later.